Hello and welcome to my latest video. I am back in my normal background, thank goodness, um, so things can sort of get back to normal. Today I'm filming for you um, a spring everyday makeup tutorial. This is the look that I created using some of the products that I talked about in my uh, video last week which was like five ways to update your makeup look for spring and um, so I'm going to be using the MUA palette that I talked about the winter forest palette very springy and I'm also going to be using the collection 2000 and um, blue eyeliner underneath my eyes so if you'd like to see how I created this look then carry on watching so first off the primer I'm going to be using my all-in-one insta blur from the body shop and um, this just really helps for it to last all day and I've not used it for quite a while, so I thought I'd give it another go. Because I've been really enjoying the Rimmel one at the moment. So I'm just putting that on my T-zone, basically, and on my chin. Where foundation usually disappears from my face. For foundation, I'm actually using one from Revlon. And it's the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. And it comes in like this big glass jar. Um, it's a bit annoying really, because then when you open it, it's just the product is just there. But I really like it for like long lasting makeup with quite a high coverage but it actually doesn't feel like a high coverage foundation. So I just get a bit on my brush um, like that, dot it around my face just to make sure there's enough on there. there. And then I just blend that in, I've lost my mirror, I found it. And then I'll just blend that in using my Real Techniques buffer. Okay, so now that's fully blended in, I'm going to be using two concealers today actually because I just want slightly more coverage in certain places. So for my um, sort of like blemish concealer, I'm going to be using my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is the bowl, it had words on. They have now rubbed off. So you just have to guess what it is basically. I'm just going to be putting that on any places that I want more coverage. Because my skin's a bit, a bit dodgy at the moment. I also put some on my cheeks because it's where I get red. This just adds as another layer just to stop that redness being cray cray. I'm going to blend that in with my Real Techniques buffing brush because it's quite a thick foundation. <laughs> so under the eyes I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lumi Magique concealer which is like a little brush concealer and um, it's pretty much a dupe for the Touche Clare. Like, fifth of the price. Um, I'm just going to put it under my eyes and I'm also taking it, can you see like onto my nose there because that's sort of where the dark circles begin so I like to make sure that that bit is also covered up and then to blend that in I'm just going to be using a fluffy brush. For powder I'm just going to use my uh, MAC Me Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus. I'm using that on a Real Techniques Oh, what is it? Duo Face, no, Duo Fiber Face Brush, which is like a really light fluffy brush so that it means that I'm not going to apply too much powder because with this foundation, if, um, if you apply quite a lot of powder then it becomes quite cakey towards the end of the day. So I'm just doing like a light dusting, which is why I'm using this really light feathery brush. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using the eyeshadow palette that I, sorry, I'm trying to open it. I'm going to be using the eyeshadow palette that I used in my spring five ways to update your makeup bag for spring and um, so it's this one from MUA and um, it's their winter forest palette because that's a really spring name well done Anna with this blue eyeliner underneath my eyes um, and I just think that's a really nice springy colour and although you've got like blue eyeliner it doesn't look too over the top and too in your face and it can be an everyday look so first off I'm just taking a fluffy brush I'm using my MAC 217 and I'm going to be taking that light brown colour which is this one here and I'm just going to be taking that all the way through the crease. With MUA eyeshadows, they're really great. Just make sure you tap off the excess because otherwise things can get messy. So I'm going to take that through the crease and I'm also going to take it across my eyelid slightly as well. I'm going to start in the crease so that the majority of the product stays there. I'm just going to go back in with that same colour, sticking in the crease just to deepen it up slightly. Hashtag siren. To make that stand out even more, I'm just going to be taking that dark brown colour, that one there, and um, I'm using the same brush actually, um, and I'm just going to be taking that in the very outer edge of my crease and just sort of blending it inwards. I 
And then I'm going to be taking an angled brush, just an angled fluffy brush, and that orangey colour, which is that one there, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that, focusing on the outer edge of my crease and taking it through. And this is just going to help give it um, a bit of a lighter look. I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera, but I've just put the orange on this side. It just makes it slightly warmer, um, but it's really subtle. So do not be afraid of the orangey colour. Do not be afraid. Okay, so now we've warmed up sort of the upper lid, I'm going to be taking this blue eyeliner. And this one is um, a collection Intense Colour Super Soft Coal Pencil in the shade. Oh, look, it does have a colour. I couldn't find it last week. Blue Bell. Oh. It's two words, blue bell, but you don't get it. So I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eye. Now it's up to you, sort of how low you take it. I'm going to keep it quite a fine line. And then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and blend it outwards. But you can draw it, like, you can just be messy at the beginning. Um, but because I'm going to blend it out, it doesn't need to be super neat. Okay, so I've just put that underneath my eye, and now I'm going to take my pencil brush and just blend that out. I also quite like, this is totally up to you, but you sort of do an upside down flick, so instead of flicking from the top, you sort of go up from the bottom with the blue, and not very high, just a slight flick. And it just sort of blends the two different shades on the top and bottom of your eye together. And that's pretty much it for the eye front. I've got eyeliner and mascara to do, but before I do that, I'm just going to quickly do my brows. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will know my love for the archery pencil. I have to admit to you today, I have a new love. And it is the Maybelline Brow Satin. And it's like this, and you get a waxy end on one side, similar to the archery pencil. Then on the other side, you get a powder in this weird... Um, applicator thing so you don't get a spoolie which is a slight issue so I still use the spoolie on the archery brush but then I use this pencil and it's really good like I like it more which is insane so I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows you see me do this loads of times so the hair's sort of in the right place and then I'm gonna use the waxy end of the Maybelline what's it called again brow satin and I actually use it in the color medium brown I think is what it's called, oh I've got a pencil here, medium brown, however I'm quite liking a, like, quite a bold brow at the moment so that's why I have it in medium brown. So then I'm just doing little strokes to outline the bottom edge first. And then you can see the difference there, as you, you can see it's quite an arch bold brow but I quite like it. And then once you've sort of penciled them in, I'm going to be using the powder on the other side just to set all that. For eyeliner, I'm not actually going to be using a liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to be using a pencil and I'm using the Barry M. Cole pencil. And I'm just going to be lining the upper waterline. I'm then going to be curling my eyelashes. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara, which is the one I got from a glossy box um, last month. But I really like it, actually. Just going back to base, I'm going to be using the Barry M Chisel Cheats Contour Kit. I'm going to be using this one to sculpt and this one to highlight. I recently did a... <clears throat> sorry. I recently did a contouring and highlighting video and um, both evening and daytime looks so I will leave that link below but I'm just going to sort of speed straight through this because I had just done a video on it and you're probably bored of it. For blush I'm going to be using the Barry M Havana which comes in this cute little box and I'm just using a, um, a Real Techniques blush brush I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending outwards.
And for highlight, I'm actually going to be using the same blush brush and using um, this Hot Spice palette from Makeup Revolution. I'm going to be using this white colour just for a, a highlight. It's quite a um, pigmented highlight, so you really don't need a lot. And then finally, for lip colour, I have another Maybelline Colour Drama pencil, which is, they're like a dupe for the NARS um, Velvet Lip Pencils, um, and mine is in the colour Minimalist, which is a really nice pinky colour. Um, quite neutral, which means that, you know, because I've got blue on my eyes, it's nothing too much. And this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and that maybe you'll try to experiment with a bit more colour. As I said, this blue is actually not too in your face and could be worn every day. And um, you could also dress it up by doing some liquid eyeliner or a bolder lip. And um, so it's quite you can do quite a lot with this look, even though it's quite simple. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned a little bit. If you have, then don't forget it to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you on Sunday. Bye!